Hello, this is Michael Trey Wins RV Center here to congratulate you on your Flash Staff Mac 176 LTD pop up travel trailer. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite and a few things to think about when parking. On your campsite, I want you to leave plenty of room for that awning to come out. On your off campsite, I really just want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Power and water. City water for campsites, your power will be right there. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once we arrive and unhook our hitch, first thing we're going to do is level our unit. You can throw a level right up on top of this. Crank this to the right to bring it up, to the left to bring it down. Once you've got our unit level, next thing we're going to do is stabilize it. Now, your unit's going to come with a hand crank. So what I'll do is when you arrive, go ahead and walk around the unit and unhook our hasp here. Get all four of them undone. And then just hit up on that. That'll raise even with your battery. Just enough that we can get in our door here and get out our stabilizing jack handle. On the rear, you have three quarter inch stabilizing jack scissors. Crank these down. I'm going to recommend stabilizing jack pads. Jack pads will protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and hot black top in the summer. Better distribute the weight. Get a pair of those from our store with your 10% off coupon. Crank these down just until they're taut. Remember, our unit's already level. All we're trying to do at this point is stabilize it. So once you've got some resistance on your hand crank and it feels like it's starting to lift the unit, go ahead and stop. Get the other one down the other side. Got both of them down. Got our unit level and stable. Now we can hook up our power and water. You'll pull your power cord out of storage here. Big long 30 amp cord plugs in here on the side. The way these go on now is we go in at say 11 o'clock and then turn it, turn it to the right to noon. Put on your black washer. Should you need to plug into a 110 in your convenience pack will be a 30 to 15 amp reducer. That's power hooked up. Go ahead and hook up your water. At campsites, we're going to hook up to city water connection. First and foremost, a water pressure regulator. These water pressure regulators are going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in the unit. Always use these when hooked up at campsites. For now, let's just go ahead and hook that up. And then let's go ahead and open up our unit. We've got our unit level and stable. We're plugged in. Come to the front here, and we're gonna hit up. Now as we hit up, we're gonna watch in this corner here for this green cable. No, they have not designed a quiet one yet. So watch that cable. You know, I'm gonna raise this up. Just until that line, that green line is taunt. Once it strings like that, got it up as high as we need it to go. Check it out on both sides. Now we're just going to grab our ends here. Grab right here. Pull it straight out towards you. Repeat the same process on the front. A few of them are all the way out. We're gonna go inside and find our safety brackets. You got two square brackets, tapered on one end, square on the other. Take the tapered end, stick it up top, the square end on this end, that's your safety bracket. Now, we're putting it on this corner, the other one is gonna go on the kitty corner. There it is bracket again, tapered end up. We went to the rear before, opposite side to the front. And those are your safety brackets. Now what we can do is walk around, pull down our materials. 
So what we're going to need to do next is get inside here and pull out the bars for our beds. So in these bars, we got two long ones, two short ones. Your short ones are going to go up front, round in, in this circle here, slot it in here. Now you see it's not going to line up. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift, it, lift that bed up and tuck that underneath there. Repeat the process over here, round in in here, get that lined up here, lift it up, and let that settle down under there. And that's how your bracket set in back here. On the rear, they're going to be longer. You're going to go up into the unit slot there, and then down here. So round in down here, slot it in here. You usually do it with one hand. In my case, I'm actually doing it with my head, so not too heavy. Get all four of those in. Now it's safe to bracket there, and we start pulling these down. Pull our materials down, come around our sides, zip these down, and once you're zipped down, bring this around and Velcro it. Make sure it's tucked here so your fabric goes up underneath this for rain. The same thing on this end. I'll show you how we're going to store this door away. We're going to lift it right up off. Come to the back of the unit. Underneath here, you see you've got your two slots and that string down there. So I have your door where it's going to be face out. Line this up in here. So hard to do one handed. Let me put that up in there and show you what I mean. Actually, the inside of the door will be out. So again, those will slide right in there. And then that string will hold on to your latch. Once that door is stored, we can bring, come up inside our unit. We're going to flip this forward. The reason we're going to flip it forward is because when it goes down, that's going to turn on our lights. Now this is how it's all set up for an extra bed right here. You will simply lift this up. Same thing back here. And your table sets on two bars. And that'll set up. You also have your griddle here. Which will set up out outdoors or indoors. There's that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come and underneath each bunk to store your bar. I call it a shepherd's hook. Curve down one end, straight on the other. We're going to line our straight end up with this knob. Then we're going to make sure our shepherd's hook is up. We're going to push this out. And then hook it in up top. Now we'll go outside and straighten up our fabric. Same thing on this end. Repeat the same process. And we got our bunks up. Best thing we're going to do is bring down our door. So I'm going to lift this up, turn this, lift this up and out of here, while also unsnapping these. And that is going to let the whole bottom of the door swing forward. All right, so I've slid those cables forward, brought the bottom of the door in. We're just going to bring these in and latch them closed all the way around here. And then we're going to start putting the Velcro on. So again, we'll hook up our water pressure regulator. 
turn on our water here just go inside turn on your tap there get all the air out of the lines when the air's out of the lines shut that off and you're all set up now if you're going to camp uh, dry camping in that case you're going to fill up your potable water back here no need for a water pressure regulator here you can simply use a hose uh, fill that up two ways to tell it's full one there's an overflow valve right here or two on the inside where you uh, check the levels of tanks and your battery there's also a freshwater tank once that's full remove that hose put this cap on and then when you want to turn on that water you'll turn on your water pump one last thing you do have an ac on this unit the cord stores in there before your unit goes up uh pop it up inside there plug it in up there uh something i missed for lifting the unit up if you have power or water uh, this is going to be our freshwater drain Coming around the back of the unit, we got a spare tire with a cover. Keep that cover on there, that'll keep it from dry rotting. Over on the cap side, that griddle indoors can set out here. There's your quick connect LP for that. Flue for your furnace. Uh, one, make sure it's never blocked. And two, if you're running your furnace steer clear, that does get hot. Coming up inside the unit, we got storage here. This fire extinguisher again our griddle everything i've talked about in here also 12 volt carbon oxide propane detector the reason i mentioned that's 12 volts always running off your battery so if you are out dry camping nothing plugged in charge your battery disconnect your battery to keep this running your battery down while you're gone if you're going to be gone for the entire day um 110 with gfci reset Here's where you turn on your water pump to utilize your fresh water. And there's your access panel to your breaker box and fuses. 10, 20, 30, a little variety in there. Over here is our fridge. It's a safety strap. Controls inside. Here is our furnace. Crank that on. You hear that running. You notice when I shut the furnace off, it'll take a few minutes for that furnace fan to shut off another 110 and um charging ports our sink area our ac they do have um you just spoke around they do have fans slash lights you can purchase that will plug in here clip on here and give you a extra light and a fan above your beds and lastly the ac all right, so I've got that plugged in. You got low and high fans. High cool. Also quick dumps on these. Uh, here on the end, excuse me. I'll block that off or blast it out. And that about covers everything in here. It's like we're leaving the campsite and close the unit up. Mattresses would be real easy or your sofa area. Set that down. We we'll put your little back on the floor. And then we'll start bringing our Mattresses down, our bunk ends, again, store the rod for each bed underneath the bed. Walk through the unit, make sure you put everything away. All doors and drawers are closed. And then we can go ahead and flip this back down. And we'll go ahead and Unzip some of these ends before leaving. And we'll exit the unit. Next thing we're going to have to do is put this door back up. We're just going to reverse the process. Now you couldn't really see me bring it down, so I'm going to try to give you a view of how to bring that up. Alright, so I'm going to sit back up inside here. Make sure all my inside velcro is done. 
Let's put this back up so we got some light so you can see in here. So again, we'll unlock these. These guide wires are going to bring the whole front this way. Undo all of our latches down here. Bring it to the outside. See that cable goes that way. Cut the top up here. Turn that so it goes back down in there. And on the ends, just snap them back up here. Now we'll grab our grab our small door off the end here. Uncable that. Again, it just slides right off there. Tuck that back up on here. It's kind of a difficult process getting this up and down. So now I'm going to take all these, tuck them back behind, and then remove my safety brackets, tuck them up inside. Get up underneath, remove our strings, unfasten any Velcro. Unfasten a Velcro and lift everything up so that we can start to push these beds back in. All right, I'll close the unit up. Don't forget to drain your water. Remove, unplug your power. And we can bring this top down. I like to get about halfway. And then walk around and start tucking things in. cable up in there everything tucked away put on our brackets lock them up get a little lock for those get all four of these on now if you see it don't reach reach up top a little push down and we reach pretty good these are adjustable as well bring up our stabilizer jacks and head on home again Thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoyed this Flagstaff Mac for many years to come. Happy camping.